Two of the most common experiences in society today is being overwhelmed and, and being bored. And our faith is a cure for, for both of these realities. And, and, and perhaps we all fall into these things at different times in our lives. Um, our saint today is, is Mother Teresa. Uh, she lived an incredible life, demonstrated again the power of if you, if you just love who and what is before you right now, and you do that a thousand times a day, every day of the year, you, you just begin to have this massive impact on your community and, and in her case, ultimately on the world. And in the lives of all of the saints, we, we find these three things, truth, beauty, and goodness. And, and the reality is, is that when there's truth, beauty, and goodness in your life, uh, you can't be overwhelmed and you can't be bored. Uh, when, when there's truth, beauty, and goodness in our lives, uh, we're called to a simplicity and a balance and an integrated life. When we stop making time for truth, beauty, and goodness in our lives, that's when we get kidnapped by um, or seduced by the things of this world and the philosophies of this world. And that's when we tend to become overwhelmed or when uh, we tend to become bored. Um, because a, a life without truth, beauty, and goodness will ultimately become boring. Um, and a life without truth, beauty, and goodness will ultimately become focused on the wrong things. And when we're focused on the wrong things, we very, very quickly become overwhelmed because those things, they're not feeding us. They're not feeding our hearts, our minds, our souls. And, and when that happens, um, we don't have what it takes to be sustained. And, and so we do become overwhelmed. God doesn't want us to be overwhelmed. You know, the, the, the message of the gospel is do not be overwhelmed. The message of the gospel is do not worry, do not be afraid, you know, and, and, and by extension, do not be overwhelmed. But we find ourselves overwhelmed, I think, increasingly in modern society. And so when we do, I think we have to ask ourselves, okay, what place are we giving in our day for truth, beauty, and goodness? Uh, are, we, are we taking a few minutes to, to read so that we can allow some beautiful truths to come into our hearts and our minds? Are, are we taking some time to experience beauty? You know, whether that's art or some other form of beauty that inspires you in a, in, a, in a special way? And are we taking time for goodness? To, to experience goodness and, and, and to share goodness? Because it's by focusing on goodness that we ultimately create the good life that God is inviting us to for ourselves and for other people.